Welcome to the General's Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, zero hour time. Dominator is the USA Vanilla. Freestylo is the China Nuke. We were feeling very rockavy deprived. Hmm. Thus the USA selection. So Dominator better not let us down with some man spam or patriot dropping. Oh yeah, I, I don't yeah. want to see interesting unit mixes yeah. and strategies. I just want to see rock bees, man. I, I want to see supply, supply, barracks, war factory. That's what I want to see. Freestyle are also going double supply. Now this is a cool map because you have three base supplies. So that actually opens up some defensive strategies. Also because of how tight these choke points are. So mm. I think we've seen... Yeah. Didn't we see like EMPs? Yeah, we've seen like, yeah. We've, and we've seen GATs. We've seen... We, we have seen a prevalence of... Yeah, base defenses in those positions. No, it's just one, like one or two, just on one of the sides. There's defense there. Yep. With the focus of the units on the other ones, because the, the the actual distance between the two sides is you know, considerable. So, I think a little, probably a little over TD distance. So, makes it a little bit harder to, to rotate units over and defend. He is playing USA Vanilla, so no good uh, Patriots. Just going for the fire base. It's good. It's perfectly good. I wish Patriots were better. The regular Patriot, that is. Yeah. What, what would you do to make the Patriots better? Oh, he, he garrisoned his tank hunter to yeah. keep it alive. Pog, yeah. oh, big, big Pog from Freestyler. <laughs> He's got to save that. Forget that's a thing. That 350, bro. Oh, yeah. Even playing trying to nuke these tank hunters aren't cheap. Does it I think again? I think you can only do it though if they take damage. Yeah, because it's a garrison, right? It's like garrison to heal. You can't yep. actually garrison inside the structure. So. Yep. The icon just like isn't mm. there. That is sick play from Freestyler. What? I'm pretty impressed. A legend. You, you'd never do it to infantry. It's like something you do to vehicles to repair them on occasion. Yeah, you do it to. He heroes, but the thing is, is heroes often just get vet to anyway. Mm. Or in, in GLA, you just heal in a tunnel, so it's yeah, it's kind of pointless. And Lotus rarely takes damage. She either dies or she like yeah. It's rare that Lotus will take damage. She either dies or not. Because the health pools aren't even that high anyway. Yeah. A few more wounded units. Okay. Start to throw inside his barracks if he wants to. Actually, pretty effective garrison clearing with those. Yeah. Troop crawler, and then what else does he do with it? Does he get capture upgrade? There's so many tech buildings on this map. Oh, I guess it also just helps him. Wow, the Humvee! It also allows him to just walk up to Humvees. Troop crawlers, not to be underestimated, especially if you get the veterancy upgrade. Have seen here for free Oh, the garrison today, very nice. This isn't enough room for these rock bees to maneuver in the middle when it's rolling red guard. Oh, it's three supplies. That's why he couldn't defend. Mm, makes well, sense. Also three supplies for the China, but the USA is more expensive to invest with those Chinooks. Nice micro with the Humvee. So a gap movement. We'll get some idea of Dominator's positioning and unit composition, which is good. Or we see a Dozer going down here. So I guess that's where the Patriot would actually be better. A Patriot would not allow this Battle Master to just cheese this. Obviously not having the minimum range. Yeah, I don't know what you do with them, honestly. It's, it's that line. It's not, you can't even think it's as simple as a buff or a nerf. Because you're just walking that line of OP or not OP. You'd have to make changes. Yeah, it's also... I like how um, EMP Patriots work. I think they're a good... Yeah. Very good unit. And the fact they're microable as well is good. And the 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 laser patriots are, are pretty good because they, mm. they kill infantry. Yeah. It's like the only base defense that does everything. Every other base defense has a specific counter, which I think is actually a better way of doing it. But the Okay, there's nothing inside of the Oh no, there's one. I, I just I always assume that players don't put things in the bunkers. This dozer though, rip. Uh, yeah, it might also be like a, just a consequence of tanks being pretty crap in general. Yeah. But I also, I don't remember what damage type the Patriots do. That They may do like little amounts of damage to tanks. 
The other thing is just how oh. nice crush is coming in from the Ambo. Um, they don't get the tank hunters, so uh, most of these vehicles will also go down, but uh, a solid defense, and then the Humvee should clear out the rest. Another great flank with a couple more. Oh, the Humvees, though, should target down one of those Hellfires and make sure we can get a repair drone online there. The other thing is that in games in general, right, those kind of static defense, like, like in Zero Hour, right, you have, they provide anti-air, like Gats, Patriots, um, Stingers, they all provide, like, pretty solid anti-air. Yeah. But the, the oh. air units are kind of underutilized, and the ones that are utilized in Zero Hour are hit and run, like their planes, they're not helicopters. Yeah, that's true. So you don't have, um, you know, you don't have any units, you can't, the static air defense doesn't really work in the same way like it does in, I mean, other CNC games. Yeah, that's true, and it's also, you know, why isn't my anti-air defense good? Well, maybe it's because one faction doesn't get air units. Mm. So I think that's kind of the... So I thought about Raptors suck too, is because then Raptors don't have, like, an anti-air role against GLA. I know there's mods that gives GLA air units. Mm. I don't know, like, if any of them are interesting, as in, like... Are they just kind of cheesy, or are they actually interesting in air units? Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the good flank. This is actually an Overlord too, with an ECM and double GAT. So this is a strong army. Good pull from Dominator. They'll probably lose one of the Chinooks. Was not expecting that flank at all. Clearly wasn't watching it. Let us know in the comments what would you want to see done to the Patriot or air units in general. What are they taking damage from? Oh, it was just miserable defender shots hitting yeah. the ground, okay. Should zone off the remainder of these units, which is good and will allow the units to get back to farming. Dominator had to pull a lot of attention away from his Humvee armies though, as a result of which one of them going down, the other one surviving. Trying to micro two lots of rock V is very difficult. That was a really risky Lotus play. Mm. Nothing's defending the Lotus. But I guess a bluff. Like, ha, ah, don't don't go for my lotus. Yeah. But meanwhile, you can also keep it on perma shutdown if she she chooses to do that. There was more Humvees there, but well, okay, a lot of missile defenders. There's one ECM. Is it enough? Probably not with that many laser yeah, locks. Yeah, pretty smart. I actually want Freestyle not to group up here. It makes it much uh -oh. easier to deal with with laser locks. Okay, good splitting with the missile defenders. Wow, the, the prop center and the war factory are exposed, but it's a base race here. There's the group. None of these factions are GLA, so... Should get the cancel on that? Yeah, good. Cancel goes down to the war factory. But again, like, that's the problem with, with, with this army now um, grouping up, is that the missile defenders can just run at them and laser lock. Um, previously, playing two groups behind buildings might have been better. Whoa, that... That Lotus just runs through the army. I think it's also why fire bases are so popular, is because... Mm -hmm. They're actually, they are good against both infantry and vehicles. Yeah. So they're like, they're multi-purpose. The downside, they don't detect stealth, they don't have air attacks, and also their minimum range. I mean, the garrison thing's kind of dumb. It doesn't really do much. Okay, wow, not paying attention to the Humvees. Wow, the troop crawler gets both of them. Goes for the supply. This Crusader tank's on the field. Second attacking army now going to be rolling in. I guess he really wants to snipe the ECMs with the Crusaders. Let me get the opportunity though. Also, they don't get deflected. Wow, that Lotus, oh my god, is right underneath. Is that the last building though? Yeah. Right, Capped the power plant for the GG. You are anyway. victorious. Interesting game. Um... I, mean, I just didn't see that first flank coming. Those units were too deep and you couldn't deal with them. I was too busy thinking about Zero Hour Design. Yeah, yeah, no, right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think it was it's that exciting. It's easy to get distracted about Zero Hour Design every now and again. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a, it's a fun topic to uh, to think about. But, yeah, just, just didn't see the flank. And then lost one of the Rock V armies and then didn't look at another Rock V army. It was just, it was just little things over time that, that made Dominator lose that one. Um, which is, you yeah, know, kind of rare, but I haven't seen him play lately. Everyone, again, as we mentioned, everyone has off days, so... Well, at least he didn't... Well, it wasn't up to Dominator's normal micro-scratch, though. At least he didn't carpet bomb his own army. That's true, I didn't see that. That was a... That's a tick in his box. Yeah. Alright. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you joining us for this cast. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Let us know your thoughts about Zero Hour Design.
Or you can just say that you suck. That's that's also an equally valid yeah. YouTube comment option. Do what you gotta do. See ya.